Dear friends, I welcome you to another webinar. My name is Alexey Oknev. I'm the CEO of the DJU ecosystem. Today, we are going to discuss a few very important, interesting topics. First of all, it's my trip to Vietnam. I'm here with an official visit, and I will be here around 30 days. I'm talking with partners, company investors, establishing partnerships with local technological companies, with governmental structures. Also, we are about to open an office here to represent our company. And what is very important to me is exploring the local Vietnamese market, both in terms of technology and in terms of the market where we work with our partners and investors. I'm exploring how they present our project, how they understand it, how correctly they explain the information, because Vietnam probably is the leader in terms of the number of investors in our ecosystem, is the most active country, and it's been the most disciplined. And it's very important to understand how the project is presented here, how information is provided, how accurate it is. Because when I was in India with the same kind of trip, I was very surprised when I heard about the DGU ecosystem, about the products, and about why we created this company, and what we are doing in general. Overall, it was very incorrect. That's why I had to do a lot of training seminars, correct them, and prepare the speakers. But that process obviously will continue. In India, the trip ended quite well. In Vietnam, we are doing the same now. I am planning to visit a few cities. It's the capital of Vietnam, Hanoi, where I am at the moment, a big economic center, Ho Chi Minh, and the province of Tan Hoa. There are active leader communities in each of these regions. We have a few national representatives in Vietnam. And the work level, the level of the team, the level of the discipline, and the level of the knowledge and understanding of what the company does, where it is going, which projects it creates, is very high. And probably it's related to the high level of education in Vietnam. But understanding of such technically complex projects like AVA, like the projects of our venture capital fund Binarix and SpiritMe, is very high. That's why it's quite easy to present and to train. I think we will scale up the work format that our Vietnamese leaders and partners use to the whole team and to different countries. And just recently, at the suggestion of our national representative Do Van Tam, we launched a competition for Vietnam. And the special prize is a trip to the city of Novosibirsk, to the head office of the company where it will be possible to meet the team. And all this will happen at the end of September. And I think I have a question for the audience engaged in the informational promotion of the project. How relevant is this kind of competition in your country? And how willing are you to get involved in achieving the goals we will set so the team of investors, leaders and key members of your country or of your region can visit our head office in the city of Novosibirsk at the end of September to meet the team, management company and so on. The Vietnamese have set a quite high level and I think in the nearest future we will talk about it more, and we will do our best, so there will be a large delegation from Vietnam to our office. So, that's how the end of May is going on. And I think I will be here in Vietnam until the 20th of June. Therefore, it's constant negotiations, constant trainings, constant meetings with those people who invested at the start, and those who are joining now. Also, it's the meetings with the companies 
as I said before. After Vietnam, I'm planning to visit African countries with the similar goals and for the same duration. But I think this time it will not be one country, but at least three. Now we see a high activity from Cameroon, Cote d'Ivoire and Nigeria, and my visit will help better study the market and make sure that our project, for example in Nigeria, will be understood in the right manner, so there will not be some made-up stories. And what I like the most is that partners who are promoting our project in African countries are already arranging meetings with local governmental structures to already offer some concrete technological solutions, first of all in blockchain and artificial intelligence. Apart from partner activities, they are already arranging meetings on integration of the blockchain technology, so we can work as contractors or as someone else. But most important thing is the interaction with that particular country, with that particular governmental structure or with a big company. Well, that makes us very happy and we have such a context in all countries. We are planning to open the first office of the company in India this June. It's a big achievement. The city of Mumbai is the biggest city in India and maybe the biggest one in the whole world. It very amazed me with its energy. And partners there built a very strong team and opened the first office very fast. And now we are looking for a new space, so the new office will be more modern, innovative, at the right place, so new partners and investors will have the right context. We plan that our offices that will be opened in different parts of the world will be quite innovative, so a person who, for example, promotes the project can come there, learn all the technologies available in the market, also learn about the technologies of the DGO ecosystem and projects of the Venture Capital Fund, so they can get a hands-on experience with the help of modern devices, such as VR glasses, computers and other technological devices, so they get the right mood and impression, so this appropriate and right knowledge will be given specifically in those offices. That's important because, as I said before, these long working trips help me see how actually the promotion of the DJ ecosystem is going on. We've been working for almost four years. We have a great reputation and it's important to maintain it and maybe make it even better by increasing the knowledge of our partners. In general, we will interact not only on the partner level, but on the level of interaction with companies, with providing the products and integration of the services and presenting our venture capital fund. To promote and implement this strategy, at the moment, we are actively starting to participate in different exhibitions as DGU ecosystem. First of all, as the venture capital fund of the DGU ecosystem. In Vietnam, we are going to visit a large exhibition in Ho Chi Minh as guests and as participants, we will be presented at an exhibition in Mumbai with all our products. It will take place on August 12 and 13. I invite everyone who will be in India at the moment. And I think the opening of the office I told you about will be around the same dates. And maybe there will be signing of some agreements and contracts with Indian companies. So, we are working on all sides and it's very good. There will be several such exhibitions in Vietnam and I think in African countries. Of course, Indonesia, United Arab Emirates as well. So now, we are making a list of places where it would be interesting for us to be presented. 
which exhibitions we want to visit, not necessarily as participants or speakers, or those who have a stand in this exhibition. But first of all, to visit them as we did with the EVA project, and therefore with the DGO ecosystem, all this time, let's say on a tight schedule. Now it's full schedule like this, and it's very good as well. The next topic I want to talk about, that we announced on the 1st of June, we published a very interesting post, which stirred up a lot of people. It's the topic of securities buyback. And let me go some time back. I think at the beginning of the 2021, we started talking about it at the webinars and stated that for sure the DGO ecosystem will buy back the securities and it would happen soon. Well, we finally made that decision. And this year, there will be the first buyback of our securities. Let me briefly outline the principles and the conditions. Of course, we are going to publish the conditions in advance, or precisely closer to that date. We are planning to hold the first buyback approximately at the end of this year. The amount the company is prepared to buy back will be also announced. It will be around a few hundred thousand dollars. Because we were saving up some funds especially for the buyback right from the beginning. Also, the price of the buyback will be announced. And of course, we will announce a period during which you will be able to apply for a buyback of your securities. You will be offered to sell some part of your portfolio. It will not be possible to sell it completely. We are planning that at least the first buybacks will have more of a marketing purpose and will attract some attention to our audience. It will increase the general interest and so on. And in order to achieve the desired effect, many people will be offered to participate in this. To do this, it is needed that anyone can sell from 5 to 10% of their portfolio. And so there will not be a situation where one big investor who has a lot of securities will apply for a buyback and then get the full amount. We are excluding such situations. That's why in some period, I think in a few months, we will prepare interfaces, we will prepare and agree some procedures. Of course, we will be gradually talking to you about it. So you have time to prepare and understand the conditions. And you will have time to apply. We will review the amount of people who will be interested in the buyback of our securities and will conduct this procedure. Obviously, only good investors will be allowed to participate in the buyback. Our audience is the one with no overdue payments. It's the one which fulfills all the obligations. Maybe there will be some additional requirements. That's why I recommend you, if you want or plan to participate in marketing promotions, bonus programs, snapshots and other activities, pay your installments in time. Don't have overdue payments during the month. Because in some time, there will be an investor ranking. We already told you about it a few times. When, in addition to opportunities the ecosystem offers, participation in snapshots, token distribution, participation in private investment rounds, or, for example, participation in buybacks, we will allow only investors with a certain rating. Most probably, it's going to be like that. That's why I suggest you to prepare for it step by step. It's very clear and fair. Our goal is to make sure that the people will fulfill their obligations that they took, and so they do it on time. 
the same way the ecosystem does it itself. And so the opportunities we can offer first will be given to those investors and partners who contribute the most to the development and promotion of the ecosystem and its products. Now let's summarize. The buyback will happen this year. It's a great event. We will gradually be talking about it. We are planning to do it at the end of the year, December, I think, right on the eve of the company's birthday. Or maybe a bit later. Or maybe a bit earlier. So we will look at our workload, activity and applications. Now we need to understand how interesting this procedure is for you, how relevant it is, and how much our audience wants to sell part of their portfolio now at an early stage. If there is anyone interested at all, you can write it in the comments now, to this webinar, or in our chats, and so on. But when we announced it, this news stirred up our audience a little bit. But most importantly, don't expect that if you buy securities of the DJ ecosystem today, or in one, or two, or three months, that during the buyback, you can sell them 10 times more expensive. No, we are the most adequate company. Of course, this buyback procedure, in the first place, will be beneficial for early investors, and for those who bought our shares in the years of 2021, 20, 22, and at the beginning of year 2023 and so on. But you need to understand this news correctly and explain others in the right manner if you are engaged in the promotion of the project. Since we are planning to conduct the buyback procedure, I want to discuss dividends as well. Recently, a few webinars ago, there was a question. Why does the company pay out dividends at the early stage, since they are not so big? Maybe it is better to invest them in the business development or filling the venture capital fund to achieve our goals. Yes, it's true. Dividends that we are paying now are growing in dollars. And maybe for now, they don't have any effect for our investors. And for the last year, we paid out a bit more than $180,000 in dividends. This amount is large, but it's not that much for a huge number of our investors. And therefore, there is a question I would like to discuss and put it to a vote. I think most probably, I think most probably, we are going to post a vote on our main platforms and ask you to vote. What is more relevant for our ecosystem this year? Conduct the buyback procedure or pay out the dividends, which is planned for the middle of July. If you ask my personal opinion, an opinion of the founders and the team, we believe that the most efficient use of the funds would be to give around 50% of the money that should have gone to dividends to buy back, so that the amount would increase, and to put the remaining 50% into the venture capital fund, to make one more deal, one more investment, and so on. That's the opinion in the team, and we would like to hear the opinions of those people who are watching this webinar now, who are going to read the post and participate in the vote. What is more relevant for you personally? There will be several options and a chance to express your own opinion. So, the dividends in July or a large buyback and venture capital fund projects. Because we would use these dividends in a different way. As for the company, to answer the question that was there a few webinars ago, why does the company do that? Because for us, it's a sign of a healthy, well-developed company, which decided to have a close communication with its investors, to show internal processes, and therefore 
to demonstrate its economic efficiency. Whatever it is now, we still have it. If we are talking about dividends, about what we are proud of, it's the DGU Wealth product, which has been working for almost three years. This October, it will be three years exactly. And now, we are preparing a rebranding of this project, some kind of relaunch, with addition of new tools. And we are going to talk about it during this summer. All this time, there's been only one product that has been generating dividends. And now, already this week, the Ava project will go into commercial operation. And in a few months, at the end of the summer, there will be TGE, token generation event. And I think many of you who are watching this webinar are co-owners, both through our securities and through Ava tokens that you will receive after the TGE. And after that, in the DGU ecosystem, there will be one more project, one more source of profit. And of course, it will reflect the dividends that you will get. Binarix, Spirit Me, other projects already entered our ecosystem through our venture capital fund. And they also start generating profits. For now, maybe not for us. But the thing is, as we said before, we are planning to launch our own marketplace on the Binarix technology. And maybe this summer, you will already see several objects from the DGU ecosystem. It's obvious that there will be a separate brand. It will have a name. Now it can have a code name such as DGU Properties. And I want to explain the principle itself, that the next project we are planning to make money on is our own marketplace. At least, we are going to test these mechanics. And according to our experience, sometimes a testing results in success. And according to my estimates, the second dividend payout that can be after the buyback can consist at least of three or even four sources of profits. And of course, this number will only increase. That's the kind of direction we chose. That's the kind of news that you will see this year, during the summer, during the autumn and winter. And I want to summarize everything I have said again. The company is planning to do its first buyback at the end of this year. And everyone who will be able to apply at the right moment, who will choose the amount and be okay with the price of the buyback, and of course, if they meet all other requirements, these people will be able to apply and sell part of their securities to the ecosystem, of course with the profit. And to make the total amount of the buyback even more, we are considering the following option. We will use dividends that should be paid out in July to fill the fund of the buyback. The half will go to the fund of the buyback and another half will go to the venture capital fund so that we can have new projects and solve our other tasks. After this webinar, I think in a few days or even the next day, we are going to publish a vote and ask you to freely express your opinion on this topic. I also want to talk about the AVA project. A few days ago, we published a new interesting post. And overall, recently, there is an interesting situation in the DeFi market, in the cross-chain market, a giant that set the tone for the whole cross-chain market is the multi-chain project. So, it started acting strange. And we, not even us, but all other companies, said that the collapse of the multi-chain is a chance for AVA. Technically, the project was ready to launch. 
and was supposed to launch by the end of May. And, according to the situation in the market, what's happening now, the team quickly got a handle on it. It's all thanks to Boris, who is constantly monitoring, watching and understands the market. It was decided to add some technical improvements that would allow to increase the chances of the AVA project, to use the current market conditions, where the giant is collapsing, which had those mistakes that AVA doesn't have. It's the most decentralized system with a wide range of nodes, and it is already launched. And with the liquidity, which belongs to the owners of this liquidity, but not to the team, like in the multi-chain project. Now all improvements have been made, and, according to my information, during this week the project is launching in the full commercial operation, and it has got the highest result after the completion of the audit, and I applause for the team. It was very unexpected. We got the best results. It's very good. And media are writing about the EVA project. And there are more articles coming up. And therefore, there is the excitement all over the place. And before the launch of EVA into commercial operation, before its official launch, we are organizing the last sale for the DJU ecosystem. And maybe, by the moment this webinar is out, you will already know when it starts. Approximately, it will be June 8 or 9. There will be a small sale for $50,000 for everyone interested. And once again, it will be the last sale for the DJU ecosystem. And no one else will have the opportunity to buy the tokens of the project just before the launch and a few months before the TGE. I will remind you that one webinar ago we discussed the topic of the token price with Alexander E and we heard some interesting numbers. That's why I recommend you watching it and calculate your benefits. Calculate your own financial plan for this project. One more time. The last sale starts in the DJU ecosystem. And the key difference that participants from previous sales asked us is that now you will have the opportunity to pay for EVA tokens from the balance of your personal account. If you have a personal account or partner account, that you can top up with your partner reward or with all the provided payment systems. You can buy a package. I think for many investors who don't use cryptocurrencies, it was a huge constraint in previous sales. In this sale, there will not be such constraints. The only thing I want to remind you is that AVA sales, as the sales of other projects, are completing for one day, sometimes even less than a day, sometimes even more. $50,000 is an average round size. We are considering that everyone interested will be able to buy. That's why the sale will take place until all the tokens are sold, or until Sunday, June 11 by 11.59 p.m. on UTC time, which means including the whole day of June 11. So, there will be enough time for everyone interested to participate, and you have all the opportunities and all the payment systems. Maybe there will be packages for $50. We are doing everything we can, so everyone who didn't make it last times or who didn't make it for snapshots, so all of you can participate, so you will not ask us in the support questions such as how can I buy or when can I buy. We couldn't make it last time, 
off of the snapshot, and now we want. That's it. That's the last round. And if you had such plans, I encourage you to transfer the inner currency to the account you need and make a payment. Basically, it will not be different from purchasing securities of the DJ ecosystem. The procedure is made easy for you. And of course, I ask you to follow the launch of AVA. And once it happens, go there, test it, support the AVA team in their social networks and do everything so the project will develop and take its rightful place in the cross-chain market, in the DeFi market and so on. We have all the chances and we think they are quite high. We as a venture capital fund who first invested in the AVA project and as a company where this idea was born and where it went through the whole cycle, we are determined to succeed. We believe and we are proud of the team that the AVA project has now. And the project it is launching, let's say, to the moon or, in my opinion, even higher. That's why I encourage you to participate in all the news that I told you about today, about all the new offices, about participation in exhibitions, about securities buybacks. I encourage you to share all that. Also, I encourage you to explore and use the opportunities that the company is providing. Thank you for today's webinar. All the best. Goodbye.